What has been your biggest surprise? Or when were you most excited? Now imagine doubling that. No, a thousand times. And you still won't be anywhere close to the joy and the experience of that first Easter morning. The women who had followed Jesus so faithfully were about to get the surprise of their lives. They had been the last people to see Jesus when he died on the cross. And after the Sabbath day of rest, they were up early the next morning, ready to go and anoint Jesus' body with spices. They went, they hurried to the tomb where they see Jesus' body had been laid only to discover that it was open, not sealed. The massive stone had somehow been rolled away. Not only was it open, but it was also empty. To add to, add to their woes, the body was gone. Imagine their surprise when they saw him, although at first they didn't recognise him. They thought he was the gardener, but quickly they knew it was Jesus, alive and well. What joy, what celebration. They wanted to hug him, but it wasn't allowed. They rushed back at his command to tell other people, to share the good news with them. At first they didn't believe the women, but then they too were overjoyed when they encountered Jesus. In fact, they were so totally transformed, they moved from fear to boldness. Nothing else mattered anymore. Their friend who was dead was alive again, and they were going to make sure that everyone knew this good news. What gives you joy? What good news burns so much within you, you can't wait to tell others about it? Let me pray, and if you want to join in, add your own Amen at the end. Dear God, we thank you for the good news of the Easter story and for all that we can learn from it. Thank you for the reminder that we are loved and valued by you. Remind us that you are with us in all the joys and sorrows that we face. Amen.